what should we consider when deciding on which type of corn silage to feed our cows? I think this is really important now that in the last decade we have a lot of new fiber measures such as UNDF240 or undigested neutral attrition fiber, 240 hours. This is an indicator of the indigestible EDF, or the fiber that sits in the rumen, limits intake, and takes a long time to pass out. So using new, new fiber measures, we're able to differentiate the hybrids based on the fiber fractions, which will influence the cow's intake, uh, lactational performance, and behavior. So when looking at different hybrids, it's very important not only to look at just NDF yield starch content, but start looking at NDF digestibility at 30 hours, UNDF 240 that measure indigestible fiber, and also potentially digestible NDF. This is the amount of fiber that the cow can actually digest and utilize. Um, you can go one step further and actually combine the nutrients, uh, concentration, and the yields and this is something that I've done quite a bit at the Institute, looking at nutrient yields, so fiber yields. So actually looking at the potentially digestible NDF yield based on hybrids. This allows us to really start getting into what the cow sees and what really helps her optimize intake and maximize production. So which one is my recommendation? I think it all depends on the feeding situation. It depends on the farm. Whether a farm has limited land base, whether they're trying to feed for higher efficiency, high forage diets or low forage diets, what is the availability of their carryover on the corn silage. I think you can position BMRs or brown midrib corn silage for the high group, the fresh pen. And then the rest of the herd, you can feed a conventional corn silage that isn't as affected by that fiber digestibility or isn't as sensitive. So I think it's more not just one hybrid or one choice, I think it's really optimizing and creating a forage system for the farm based on their needs and production goals.